Helical gears are another type of parallel axis gear. While the teeth on spur gears are cut straight and mounted parallel to the axis of the gear, the teeth of the helical gear are cut at an angle to the face of the gear, known as helix angle. Helix angle is the angle at which the gear teeth are aligned compared to the axis. The angle of helix depends upon the condition of the shaft design and relative position of the shafts. During the engagement of the helical gear teeth, contact begins at one end of the tooth, and then spreads gradually throughout rotation, until full mesh is achieved. The teeth of the helical gears then gradually exit mesh in the same manner. As compared to spur gears, the benefit of helical gears is that this gradual engagement results in smoother and quieter gear operation, higher load carrying capacity, and the reduction of wear. gears of the opposite hand will operate on shafts that are parallel. Helical gears of the same hand operate on shafts crossing over each other. When two helical gears are engaged, the helix angle has to be the same on each gear, but one gear must have a right hand helix and the other a left hand helix. Single helical gears are used to transmit power from one parallel shaft to another. If the face of a helical gear is wide enough several teeth will be engaged at the same time. This multiple engagement of gear teeth allow a helical gear to carry a larger load across a single gear set. The inclined angle of the teeth allows the teeth to mesh gradually, but also causes sliding contact between the teeth, which produces axial forces and heat, decreasing efficiency. An axial thrust is developed along the shaft that support the gears. In other words the gear and shaft try to move sideways. The direction in which the thrust loads acts on the shaft is determined by applying the right or left hand rule to the driver. For a left hand driver, if the fingers of left hand are pointed in the direction of rotation of driver, the thumb points in the direction of the thrust load acting on the shaft of driver. The direction of thrust load acting on the shaft of driven gear would be in the opposite direction to that of the driver. Similarly, for the right hand driver, right hand must be used. One of the ways to compensate for this thrust is to add a thrust bearing on the gear shaft. A thrust bearing absorbs axial thrust. Another way to compensate for the thrust is to add a second helical gear to the same shaft. This second gear's teeth are sloped in the opposite direction from the first helical gear which acts to effectively cancel the thrust developed by the first gear. The axial loads produced by helical gears can be countered by using double helical or herring bone gears.
Double helical gears arrangements have the appearance of two helical gears with opposite hands mounted back to back, although in reality they are machined from the same gear. Double helical gears have a groove in the middle, between the teeth. This arrangement cancels out the axial forces on each set of teeth, so larger helix angles can be used. It also eliminates the need for thrust bearings. The unique tooth structure of a herringbone gear consists of two adjoining, opposite helixes that appear in the shape of the letter, V. The main difference between herringbone and double helical gears is that in double helical gear, there's a groove in between both the gears, but in herringbone gears, this groove is missing. So there's a difference in manufacturing process of both the gears. Herringbone gear sets are designed to transmit power through parallel axes. Like helical gears multiple teeth are engaged during rotation, distributing the workload and offering quiet operation. Herringbone gears, overcome the problem of axial thrust presented by, single, helical gears. This arrangement can remove the need for thrust bearings. Crossed helical gears, screw gears, are a pair of same hand helical gears with the twist angle of 45 degrees on non-parallel, non-intersecting shafts. Because of the limited tooth contact of this configuration, their load carrying capacity is low and they are not suitable for large power transmission. Helical rack is a linear shaped gear that meshes with a helical gear. A helical rack can be regarded as a portion of a helical gear with infinite radius. A helical gear rack has inclined teeth cut into one surface of a square or round section of rod and operates with a pinion, which is a small cylindrical helical gear meshing with the gear rack. Gear racks are utilized to convert rotating movement into linear motion.